Hi, I am Sharima, and welcome to The Rundown, produced by the St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service, a weekly program where we recap the government's top news and events over this past week. That is, seven stories in seven minutes. Traffic wardens from across St. Kitts had the opportunity to hear their concerns and share their views relating to their day-to-day -day duties in a meeting with Prime Minister the Honourable Dr. Terence Drew and members of the High Command. Prime Minister Drew assured the wardens that their issues have not fallen on deaf ears and his government intends to address them accordingly. Also this week in Parliament, the Prime Minister moved a resolution in support of Taiwan's inclusion on the international stage. This was another step by the Drew-led government to demonstrate the country's commitment and a continued solidarity with the government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan. The organizing committee for the 40th anniversary of St. Kitts and Nevis' independence, led by co-chairs Vera Gallery, director in the Prime Minister's office, and Dr. Marcus Natter, cabinet secretary, met for the first time this week. The committee intends to release its calendar very early this year with new competitions and new events. And now, here is a public service announcement. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis is now inviting investors to tender for the insurance of government treasury bills. Investors may tender for the following securities. 1. A 91-day T-bill carrying a coupon of 3.75 per annum maturing on August 1, 2023. 2. A 182-day T-bill carrying a coupon of 3.85 per annum maturing on October 31, 2023. 3. A 365-day T-bill carrying a coupon of 4.0 per annum maturing on May 1st, 2024. Application forms will be available at the Accountant General's Office last year and should be forwarded to the Accountant's General Office in sealed envelopes once completed. All applications must reach the Accountant General's Office no later than 3 p.m. on April 12, 2023. This week, the government made a bold step to make provisions for persons of the deaf and hard of hearing community through the introduction of sign language at government events, more so press conferences and the sitting of parliament. Speaking exclusively with a member of the deaf community who attended the most recent sitting of parliament, she expressed her appreciation to the government and the prime minister who also did a bit of signing. It is the hope of the deaf community that the government will teach persons across St. Kitts and Nevis to sign. If you haven't done it as yet, please do it today. Subscribe to our YouTube page at SKNIS Media for regular updates, live coverage, and even more information on your government. While you're at it, like, share, and interact with our Facebook and Instagram pages at SKNIS Media and SKNIS Info. The Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley this week led the Caribbean Small Island Developing States Dialogue at UNESCO on the digital transformation of education policy. During his address, Minister Hanley emphasized that the digitalization of the education framework has clear benefits, but a delicate balance must be struck in considering the issues of resources, capacity limitations, and connectivity. Dr. Hanley was the only minister from the English-speaking Caribbean region to address the opening session of the High-Level Forum. Following a string of incidents that resulted in several deaths, the Royal St. Christopher and the Navy's Police Force launched a special operation dubbed Operation Reassurance. The approach, according to the High Command, is designed to specifically target those who are perpetrating these antisocial activities and to bring them to justice. Operation Reassurance is said to be multidimensional and will be jointly executed by the security forces to contain and suppress the violence. Now for our pick of the week. Now this week, the Ministry of Agriculture hosted its annual Agri-Easter Night Market where vendors from across the country came out to display a wide array of produce and products. And now for our video of the week. Now 
The St. Kitts Water Services Department has now made it much easier for members of the public to report any water-related issues they may have or are aware of through the official launch of its 24-hour hotline, 465-8000. The 24-hour hotline service was launched during a ceremony held on April 5th at the Water Services Department grounds. For this entire video and more, visit our social media pages. Now you're all caught up. Join us next week, same place, same time, for another recap as we continue to bridge the gap between your government and you.